Okay, so, since the house is quiet, and everybody's gone, I figured I'd take the chance to try and do some update vlogs on what I'm going to do to these guitars that I have that need to be repaired. So first on the table, we have the Silvertone SS11 Revolver. Now what happened with this one was it was thrown down a cliff and left there for a week. So all the electronics had to be gutted, all the metal pieces got rusted. Luckily enough, the body only received a few dings and it's in pretty good condition. And the neck wasn't thrown down there at all. It was just the body. It just the body portion. The neck was never thrown down a cliff. And who threw it down a cliff? Well, not me. And we're not going to talk about who did either. So, what am I going to do to this one? Well, obviously, it needs a pre-wired pick guard because all the wires are gone. Now, I'm not sure if I want to go and put the other pick guard I had on there onto it or leave the pre-wired pick guard on there. Now, here's the deal. I've already put, like, $92 into this guitar, $92 plus into this guitar. Luckily enough, the chrome pickup covers, since they were chrome painted and not actually metal, didn't rust at all. So that's a good thing. But the $30 pick guard that I had on there before has a giant chip on it. So I don't know whether I want to just keep the pre-wired pick guard on there or just take the pick guard off and leave all the wires in an electronic cavity because you can do that. Or what? I don't know what I want to do yet. Because it's going to be very hard to hide that ding. So I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave the pre-wired pick guard on there because it's going to be a uh, tuxedo black with white pickup covers and then I'm getting a matching black output jack and to be honest with you, let me show you the neck. It'll match the neck perfectly. And I was thinking maybe I would switch swap the switch swap. Yeah, that's going to be my new word, switch swap. I'm going to switch swap the... Uh, uh the tuning pegs to gold and the pickup covers to gold so that those match so the pit card's going to match the neck and the pickup covers are going to match the tuning pegs basically and what else needs to happen to this well the fretboard needs to be oiled because it's dry and the electronics cavity needs to be shielded and whoever had the guitar before me decided that they were going to rat out a piece of wood right there and I'm gonna have to get some kind of wooden block to act as a spacer so the shielding the electronics cavity shielding doesn't um, have any chance of being ripped through that giant hole so and I don't know why they did that though because if you look here there's a little hole that you can easily put the uh, tremolo wire through stupid and all the rust and metal pieces I have a technique for getting rid of rust on metal so that's gonna happen with that I've already washed away all the dirt and grime from the frets and they're pretty much in good condition. They don't need to be crowned or polished. They're okay. Oh, and the uh, the nut at the very top of the guitar right here, I'm going to replace that with a black nut. So, because that white nut's actually broken. And I think that it's, well, it's broken, but it still works. And basically the story behind that was I asked my friend if we could just glue it back together, and he's like, well, yeah, that would work for a little while, and uh, that saves money. So that's what we did, but I think it's about time to replace it. So that's this one, and this is the Silvertone SS11 Revolver. And yeah, not much else needs to be done to it. Oh, I need a new tremolo claw, and I've been thinking about replacing the strap buttons at the end. Let me show you the strap buttons at the end with the 
locking strap buttons so that my guitar strap doesn't go anywhere because I have that problem where it likes to unhook. So let's talk about the next guitar. This back to where it was. And I'll get to the next guitar. Alrighty, this next one, and you'll have to excuse this one because it already has a strap on it and it's stringed and everything. This next one doesn't really need a whole lot of work. This is my uh, Squire Mini Stratocaster. And the funny thing is this is my first guitar I've ever gotten. Now, the biggest problem with this one it needs a new pick guard. And the tone knob needs to be reoriented because the person at the factory did it ass backwards and made it to where the tone knob was backwards. Because the tone and volume knob, you're supposed to go clockwise to turn it up and then counterclockwise to turn it down. Well, on the tone knob, you go uh, it goes counterclockwise to turn it up, and that's not the way you're supposed to be doing it. So, that has to be fixed. The pick guard needs to be replaced. The knobs need to be replaced. And the fretboard needs to be oiled really bad. Let me show you that fretboard. See how dry that fretboard is? That needs to be fixed. It needs to be oiled. And that's pretty much all that needs to be done to that one. That one's going to be a pretty easy solve. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I like doing things to where I go hardest to easiest. It just makes my life easier. So that's how that's going to work. And the last guitar, which is one of my favorites, doesn't even really need that much work at all. This is my, there we go. This is my Les Paul Special 2, my Epiphone Les Paul, Les Paul blah, 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 blah. can't speak. My Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. And what needs to happen to this is it needs new strings and there is a little ding on the side that I don't know how it got there, but it, uh, I'm going to put a, a decal that is custom made for guitars on the ding to hide it because that's all I can do right now which it really isn't that big of a deal because you know like I said it's a decal that's custom made for guitars they're pretty neat decals they're made out of this PET material and they're really easy to remove and apply and they don't leave any mark or, or glue residue or anything they're not like stickers don't put stickers on your guitars that's a public service annou announcement. Ugh. Announcement. I can't speak. But otherwise, this guitar is pretty much in excellent condition and doesn't really need a whole lot. She needs to be cleaned pretty bad. But that's about it, really. She needs to be tuned, too. She needs it to be tuned really bad, but it's my favorite guitar. Look at that sunburst. Isn't that sunburst beautiful? It's cool. And that's the custom fretboard decal I installed on it. Out of all my guitars, that's the only one where the custom work actually stayed. Well, that's not necessarily true. I don't know if I know if... You, I just can't speak. I don't know if you noticed, but I do have a custom guitar decal on my mini Strat. And trust me, I'm very particular about my guitars, and I would not stick these on the guitars if I didn't think that it was safe. So, you know, this is safe. It'll come off, it won't leave any glue residue. So if you have a ding on your guitar, that's a good alternative. Uh, although I'm not gonna give you the source to my 
uh, shop I use because I'm a businessman and businessmen as it goes don't like revealing their secrets especially for the fact that being a guitar technician doesn't really pay a whole lot so I'm gonna try to keep a couple things trade secret and when I say a couple things I mean everything so anyways that's pretty much that I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later